Hi, this is Corey McCarthy, and welcome to a new episode of Fit, Formidable and Fantastic. That's right. Go F yourself, and happy Friday. Um, in this episode, I'm really just going to, uh, this is, again, it's not going to be like some of my usual episodes, no science involved in this one. I'm just going to speak about my uh, feelings on an, on an experience um, and just my thoughts on something. Uh, that has come to light two things actually that have come to light this past week, at least uh, to me, to my knowledge. Um, one is uh, the passing of Greg Plitt, the uh, fitness model um, and basically fitness icon in general. He's he's been active for such a very long time. And another one is a little less known, except in some martial arts and uh, I guess B action film cult circuits, and that is uh, Darren Shalavi. Um, also passed away this week. Um, Plitt at the age of 37, Darren at the age of 42. Both are men who um, I have enjoyed the work of or have been inspired by or, admi or have admired in some capacity. Um, <clears throat> Darren, I've seen a good number of his, of his films. Uh, I've always admired his martial arts technique and and from what I don't know the guy personally, but from what I've seen in interviews and commentary from people who have known Darren, he was a very friendly person who always wanted to help others. Um, and he would, in, even in the case of doing films, apparently he would be the first to help out, uh, you know, free of charge. He wouldn't even, if, his, if a friend was doing something and they needed somebody to play a part, he'd be willing to do it without any kind of uh, reimbursement. Um, and then, of course, Greg Plitt. Again, I don't know the guy, but I can say that from videos and things I've read, he's an, he was an incredibly inspirational person, um, motivational person to trying to push people to be stronger, um, you know, push their limits, be better. Um, and I still remember in, in an old Iron Man magazine, my first encounter with, uh, with Greg Plitt from like 2008 or 2009. Uh, he was on the cover, um, and there was this interview in there that I think I read at least two, maybe three times, just to really, it got me hungry to work at, it got me hungry to improve my body, and, and back then, really, I was in the beginning stages of trying to build muscle, so um, I was not even a shadow of what, I, of, of what I've built today, um, and so he was definitely one of my first fitness influences, uh, and, and from there, I've seen a lot of his videos, and I've watched some of his blogs, and read some of his... Uh, his quotes and what have you. Um, now, what what happened and how they died aside, you know, um, I've heard so many different things around the Greg Plitt thing. Uh, um, one of the recurring, one of the things going around right now, I think it was because of like TMZ, is that apparently he was trying to outrun a train um, and they were they were on the track illegally when they were shooting. But that aside, it's unfortunate that someone had to die. Like you know. Uh, at least he died doing what he loved, I suppose, but it, it's unfortunate when a life is lost like that, especially a star that burns bright that um, has inspired a lot of people and uh, he will be missed, you know, it, it, it creates a, a broader impact, um, you know, um, not, not that anyone's death, um, sorry, I'm just rambling here, but not that anyone's death is unimportant, but, you know, his obviously is going to send shockwaves through the fitness industry and hopefully will wake some people up about you know, perhaps better practices during shoots and, uh, and what have you. Um, and, and as for Darren, uh, again, I, that I keep seeing different things circulating. Apparently what was on TMZ about his, about drug abuse was incorrect. And his family through a donation page was saying that he, uh, passed away, uh, due to bad reaction to some kind of pain medication he got for an ongoing, uh, hip injury. Um, that has never fully recovered from, and it was a pain medication um, that caused some kind of an adverse reaction in his body, and he uh, he died. Um, anyway, the point is is that um, both of these deaths like seemed like one after another uh, when it came to uh, seeing the reports of them, and it definitely um, inspired me to this video because both of those men were inspirations or motivational in some capacity, or I admired in some capacity. And they both die within within a week's time, um, back to back like that. So it's definitely got me thinking about, um, you know, how basically how precious life is. You don't know when you're gonna go. You know, neither of those men 
thought that was going to be their day, I'm sure. Um, circumstances, of course, dependent. But you don't know when you're going to go. You could walk out to work one day and be hit by a car. So I guess, you know, um, the evolution of this video is basically going towards also to to uh, treat every day, you know, and this sounds very cliche, but treat every day like it might be your last, like this might be the last breath you'll take. And, uh, and also lessons I think that we all, and I certainly need to learn, is that when somebody is close to you, when you care about somebody as well, um, because you don't know when their time or your time is going to be, that you should, you know, don't take them for granted. Um, you know, don't take time for, with time with them for granted. Um, you know, there may be things you're doing in life that you might think are um, really, really important, but maybe you should step back and think, is there a way I can modify that? Is there, um, is it really as important as spending time with those you care about and enjoying your life too? Um, so it, it's a wake up call in some ways too, that you should, you know, don't deny your health, don't deny your goals and your dreams. But at the same time, understand that life is passing you by also, so find a find a balance between the two. So this video, I guess, has taken a bit of an evolution while I'm speaking here, but I'm really just speaking from the heart, um, and it's taking the evolution it's going to take. So I, I don't really have anything else to say except that, um, you know, a farewell to Greg and to Darren, and my best wishes uh, to their families and those who care about them. And uh, that's really about it. Just, uh, I think some of us and a lot of us probably need to wake up a little bit and realize that life is, is short and nothing's guaranteed. Anyway, I will see you guys on Monday for a regularly scheduled episode. Until then, um, stay fit, stay formidable, and stay fantastic. And I, I forgot to mention, if you have anything you want to add to this or mention in the comments, please do so below. See you later.